so these are some amazing websites and apps that were created by a completely free five coding tool called DeepSight. And recently, they just released version 2 which comes with some nice improvements and not to mention it brings new powerful models like DeepSeek R1.1 which is a recent model and also a faster model like DeepSeek version 3.1. And in this video, I'm going to show you where and how you can use this five coding tool for free and you can even deploy it directly to the internet. And here's how you can get started. First, you can navigate to this page. And by the way, the link is available in the video description and it is now hosted in Hugging Face. And I do recommend to actually create a free account on Hugging Face and it will give you more access, more features to use DeepSight version 2. So just create a free account and then later this tool might be asking you to connect your account with uh, the your Hugging Face account to, with DeepSight. Just click authorize and then you can enjoy even more features now let me show you how you can use this tool so this is the interface i think it's quite simple you can write the message right here and this is the live preview and you can also just click the preview mode to see the full screen of the website or the app and you can also invite your friends to collaborate on the project at the same time i think that's quite an interesting feature and there's also some buttons down here like to switch to desktop or mobile mode and also the refresh preview button and some other buttons that I'll explain along the way. Now, for this demonstration, I'm going to be creating an app using this prompt. Basically, I want to create a web-based app that allows the user to measure the distance between two cities. And in this case, I'm going to be using just the DeepSeek version 3. But you can use the R1 model if you are willing to wait or the Kimi K2 Instra, which is a new model that is lightweight and also very, very fast. Now, I'm going to be using just their version 3. And after that, when you're done with the settings and the prompt, you can send the message and just wait for the deep side version 2 to create a website or app based on your prompt. So I'll be back when it is done. Okay, so the app has been created and let me just do some testing. I want to measure the distance between New York and London. So let's just click calculate and nothing. So probably I sh I suppose I have to select the city because usually uh, there's going to be the option to select the city when you type the name or the city. But in this case, I don't see any option. So I guess I'm going to ask AI to make some changes. Please fix the problem because when I'm typing the name or the city, there is no drop down option to select the city name. There you go. That's my prompt. And by the way, I was using a transcriber tool to convert my voice into text. So it's very useful for pipe coding. And you can actually check the link of the tool in the video description. Now, while still doing the coding, I think I want to mention a few things that I like about DeepSight. This tool is really catered towards people that are not developers. So if you compare it with Cursor, Windsurf, and some similar tools, I would say DeepSight is a lot more simplified it's not uh difficult to understand it's simple and they also introduced a feature called div patch which basically allows the ai to only edit the thing or the code that you specifically ask ai to modify it and it is not going to be touching anything else which is very useful because ai is often just changing stuff that you didn't ask for so it's still uh, i would say very good tool it's very simple it's probably not going to be giving you uh, the best options the best features but for a starting point this is really amazing and not to mention it is free anyway it is still creating or modifying my code and i'll be back when it is done and hopefully it will fix the problem so it still doesn't work but i eventually just created another project with the same prompt and this time around it seems to be working so let me do the testing let's measure the distance between new york and just wait the city name should appear right here to london okay oh sorry about that let's click calculate and okay the number is 5500 kilometers so it looks great it is definitely working well and it looks amazing now if you want to deploy the website or the app and you want to 
allow people or your friends to visit the website or app that you just created using deep site then you can do it right away using this so there is no need to use a third-party platform you can use it directly on this platform on hugging face deep site version 2 just click save your project right here and then you can uh, provide a name for the project or for the website let's call it city distance calculator and click deploy space just wait and you can click this to view the project and there you go so this is the url that you can share with your friends in case they want to see your creation using deep side version 2 of course it is not going to be a dedicated domain but you can always modify that via hugging face so that's how you can create a website or app for free using deep side version 2 and if you want to see your project you can click this and click view projects and you'll see all the projects that you created using deep side version 2 and that's how you can use it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video